r slash ask reddit what small crime do you commit the most i steal time from my employer doing it right now to post this boss makes a dollar while i make a dime that's why i post on company time that's why i always would clock 15 minutes early and at least 15 minutes late boss never noticed and it was an extra one thousand dollars a year at minutes wage that i made doing nothing Recording baseball games without the explicit permission of Major League Baseball. Ro, you are hardcore. I only talk about NFL games without their explicit consent, which is also illegal. Please don't tell me about the game last night. I might become complicit in your crime. There was a time earlier this year when for some reason McDonald's charged like $1.75 for a large sweet tea but still only charged $1 for a soda, so I would just buy a large soda and fill it up with sweet tea. Went on for a few months until it got changed back to being a dollar. The large cups don't have the scratch offs like the small and medium cups. Chaotic good. This is not a crime. This is awesome. At work, I have to do the bakery at 6am every morning. Following this, I do a rack up. Putting all of the items for tomorrow's bakery on trays for easy access the next morning. Bags of cookies will have 5 cookies per bag. Bags of shortbread have 4. Sometimes I'll slip an extra one on the tray. So, 6 cookies instead of 5, and eat it once I've baked it, since it would be thrown out otherwise. Edit, since this blew up overnight, I'll add the fact that I have put on over a stone since starting this job. I wonder why. When I was a teenager, I used to work at a grocery store. They used to have stupid rules regarding damaged items. For example, if a single cookie in the bakery's box of cookies was broken, the whole thing had to be thrown in the dumpster. Like literally, they wouldn't repackage it or anything. 10 cookies, 1 broken, throw them all out. Don't salvage the 9. Bullshit. I would very frequently take baked goods that they said had to be thrown in the garbage and just eat them before throwing out the container. It was so wasteful and pointless. They never even checked to make sure you threw it all out. Same thing with eggs. One broken egg in a carton of 24, they all go in the dumpster. Those were entertaining, though, because we used to just pitch them into the trash compactor. Oh to be young again. The thinking behind this is employees will damage one cookie intentionally to get the other 9 for free. People abuse their kindness, so they end up with policies where it all gets thrown in the dumpster. My wife managed a new pharmacy grocery store, and within 6 months one a-hole managed to ruin it for everyone by breaking merchandise he wanted for himself but was too cheap to buy. Nice try small crime FBI. Not today D. You'll have to guess. USPIS, United States Postal Inspection Service. Does speeding count? The speed limit on I-240 in here in Memphis is 55. It's an 8 lane highway. If you go 55 you are going to get ran over. So I do 65, 70 and so does everyone else. Because so many people are doing 65 plus the cops don't bother to pull anyone over because everyone is going the same speed. Who do you target? LOL also. This month I have been 10 shootings on the slab so there's no way I'm going 55. Cops, here at least, call it fishing because you just pick one. It's just a revenue source for them. They knew the speed limit was wrong when they had it posted. There's a system, 85th percentile, to make proper speed limits for roads. If everyone is speeding on a road, the speed limit is wrong by design. Who do you target the one with the out of state tags? Had it happen to me and no others who have had it happen. I was in a group of about 15 cars. We were all doing 75 in a 65. No others around. Pass a cop. He pulls out. Passes me then comes back and slides behind me and flips on the lights. I'd already noticed that I was the only one with out of state tags and don't think there was any other reason than he knew I wouldn't be fighting the ticket. Pirating old games. What? I'm not paying $80 plus for Kirby Superstar that might break because it's 20 plus years old. Open bracket. Also, I have bought Kirby Superstar about 3 times. My original childhood copy. The remastered version on the DS and once on the SNES Classic. How much money does Nintendo want to wring out of one consumer? Haha. <laughs> Why so defensive man? We're all criminals here. We all sell the high seas. Jaywalking. Come to Africa. 
Here we only cross the roads at the most dangerous points. Many cars doing 100 km per hour along the highway. Man with a trolley full of cardboard. Jesus neck, see them every week. Saw a dude on the goddamn N1. Stealing stationery from office. Mostly gel pens and post-its. I don't even steal pens intentionally. I just forget to put them back before leaving and then forget to take them with me when I leave the house. We'll see how that holds up in court. Kid, right now, you're looking at 15 years minimum. Back while I was still a student, I used to download PDFs of books we needed for classes. My country has insane import taxes on top of ridiculous shipping fees. Some months, the cost of buying whatever book we needed for that section of work cost more than my rent. An acquaintance in my major once downloaded a PDF off of a clearly illegal website. He still had to pay for it. But $30 was a hell of a lot cheaper than the $250 that the actual book cost. Thank god I sat next to him in a different class and he told me about the PDF. He sent me a copy of it and I had it printed for like $10. I was not about to spend $250 on a book that I was never going to need again. Most of our books were rentals. But for whatever reason we had to buy this one. When the professor asked him how he got the book, he said I put my credit card into a sketchy website because I didn't want to pay a shit ton of money for the actual book. The professor laughed. I had a professor who stated that he needed to inform us that he isn't allowed to give out software or PDFs for his class. We were responsible for legally getting everything ourselves. He then turned on his projector and loudly stated I am legally not allowed to give you any links to anything or tell you how to download anything you might need. So don't ask me about any of that while showing the entire class where they could get a torrent for the program he was supposed to teach us to use. I asked him why he did that and he said that they hadn't bought software licenses yet and he didn't want to wait for up to two months before he could start teaching us. I park for more than 2 hours in the free 2 hour stalls a block from my office. I've only had 3 tickets in 2 years, which total to $75. The parking garage here is $85 no. I think those parking prices are more criminal. On the way to my night job, there's a red light that never seems to turn. If no one's coming and I am a bit short on time, I occasionally will run it. I'm not regularly put in this situation but I've done it. One time a officer was behind me at a red that would not change so I just sat there. Eventually he came out and told me to look both ways and go. Most states have laws dictating a similar practice. After some amount of time, you can treat it as a four-way stop sign. Edit. I shouldn't say most, because I don't know most states laws. Some states do, and sometimes they only apply to motorcycles and bicycles. Accidentally answering a serious tagged question sarcastically. You. Monster. I pirate plants by picking fallen leaves off the ground in nurseries. R slash prop lifting edit. If you want to get into it make sure to follow prop lifting etiquette. Never pluck off live plants because it can cause rot. You wouldn't download a plant. I didn't know other people did this. I do it in the city too. Usually begonias or succulents that someone has run into and snapped to the ground. Piracy. I didn't pay for music for 14 years and then I got Spotify premium trying to impress some girl but now I actually like Spotify so here we are. Definitely still game share though. I got Spotify premium trying to impress some girl with flex but okay. Sneaking food into movie theaters edit. This is a joke. You people are taking it way too seriously. And sure of where you live, but in Scotland it isn't banned at all. I used to work in a cinema and people brought in food all the time. It's a myth. Open bracket. At least here anyway. Haha. <laughs> well, it was kind of a joke. But a lot of theaters in the US ban. Although it isn't illegal. Speeding. Jaywalking. Speedwalking. One time I pirated the Lincoln Lawyer and Lionsgate Deadus sent me a letter saying if they catch me jacking their shit again, they were going to have Bright House terminate my service and I wouldn't be able to get internet or cable again at that residence ever again. Been 6 or 7 years, still waiting on that second letter. My apartment got a warning letter from the FBI, who oopsie. I got one of those sent to my dad's house when I was a teenager. At self-service checkouts. 
not paying for a 10p bag, or, a game at self-service checkouts. Entering one croissant when I've actually got two, I'm a self-service criminal. Once I stole four avocados from Walmart like this and it gave me a rush for the rest of the day. You violated my mother. I live in Pennsylvania near the Delaware border, the last commercial road in Delaware, Naaman's Road. Has a liquor store about every quarter mile along this border, for good reason. It is less taxed in Delaware, so less expensive. Every single time I go there to buy beer or wine, I transport it back over the state line to home. This is illegal. Let's say the average is twice a week. For 22 years, 2, 228 times I committed this crime. I've seen the PA liquor laws and they're just stupid. Clicking the over 18 button. My state does annual safety inspections for your car. I like to put that off like a month or two. So in 6-12 years I figure I get a free inspection. That, and speeding of course. Not allowed to charge my phone at my work outlets because my employer, the government, pays for the electricity. So, I guess I'm guilty of stealing electricity from the Queen of Canada. LOL. It's like $0.25 25 a year to keep a phone charged assuming you only ever charge that work. What an asinine rule. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Forbes. Com cites Christopher Hillman the 7th of September 2013 how much energy does your iPhone and other devices use and what to do about it number 6 and 9 B0C062F70. Public drunkenness. Listen officer, I shouldn't be fined for being drunk in public. I don't wanna be drunk in public. I want to be drunk in that bar over there, but they threw me out. Find them. I mean how am I supposed to get home from a bar? I've been known to put my hand in mom's cookie jar. It's a ceramic monk. You lift his head to get at the cookies. The caption reads, Thou shalt not steal. Dumpster diving. Interesting. Tell us more. Kinda weird that it is illegal. It's sometimes trespassing or theft depending on your local laws. Sometimes laws are in place so stores won't get sued if someone gets hurt poisoned by their garbage. But nobody does that. Sports streaming. Had to do it because there's no easy way to watch it in my country. Up until the 17th of October it was possession of marijuana. I'm in Canada. So having a couple grams or even a half ounce would rarely even get you a ticket. Weed is legal now though so my law breaking days are over. Everything is bananas at the self checkout if no one is around. At the self serve cashier I scan my bio bananas as regular ones. Pirating things I don't want to pay for. Downloading music. I work in a book factory. All books that can't be shipped are supposed to get shredded. But sometimes I give myself a 5 finger employee discount. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.